And if the first box jump you've got to try and do is obviously two legs. Now very important when you do box jumps, and this is how we move to sort of ACL prevention, especially in female athletes who don't squat down enough when they jump. So the research was that when female athletes jump down, they would not, they would just sort of land like that and they wouldn't drop into a squat like males would. Because what happens is when you do that, there's a lot of shear force of the tibia going forward. Now if you land like that with an internally rotated knee, that's how you can pop the ACL because there's a shear force going through there and if you land, that's when it can, can tear the ligament. So we've got to make sure that when you go back to squatting, you are uh, jumping, you are squatting. So the best way is up into a box. So you're coming up and when you land, you land down into a squat, making sure, if I show you this way, your knees are wide, all right? So knees are wide because you're going to have a nice, wide, stable base. Let's try that again. Use your momentum of your hands and down into a squat like that and then come up. To absorb the land and then come up. And that's just like you ever do if you're jumping to catch a ball or jumping sideways. You've got to make sure you don't land with a stiff leg, that you actually squat into it and use the whole leg Use your hammies, use your glutes to absorb that mechanical stress load. And the reason why we do it up on the box is it's a very nice soft landing, okay, to start with. And you can really gauge, you've got to get the jump, which is get the hamstrings, but you can see where your knees are, making sure you get those knees over your toes. Don't let that knee roll inwards, okay. So once you've mastered that, then you can try jumping down, which is more impact, okay. So again, and that's where you've really got to drop into that squat, all right? Doesn't matter if you come forward, you know, you don't have to be up in a perfect upright squat, you can come forward, um, but just don't make sure that your weight doesn't come forward onto your toes too much. So when I land, yes, my toes at the ground first, but I drop into the weight of the heels. I don't land forward onto my toes, okay? Once you're down, then you want to go to the rotate. So when I, if I show you this way, when I jump up onto the box, I'm going to jump, say, towards you, you've got to make sure that you don't twist when you're on the ground. So when you twist, it's in the air. So you've got to think about, I've got to twist in the air, and I'm going to land 90 degrees, okay? So what I don't want to do is try and ro is rotate off the ground like that, because if I rotate off the ground, I'm doing a shear force to there, I want to rotate in the air. So I've got to jump straight, rotate, and land straight. So I'm going to come here and land like that. And the hard thing is to when you land is not to, again, crash inwards, okay? So you might want to start on a lower box, or you could just start on the ground, where you're just landing like that, and try and land two legs together, as in the same time, not together, but the same time, nice and wide, knees apart, all right? And the crucial thing, landing in the squat, into there. Okay, now the variations of this is you do jumping and rotating one way. Obviously, for my right knee, that's medially. Okay, so I could do a series of jumping, rotating, and keeping going like that. Okay, you could go one way. What you can do is then obviously go the other way and then that way and then come off again. Or if you get really good at it, is keep going. So where you bounce back. So you up, rotate, down, back, okay? Gets harder and harder. So try some variations of that, and then we'll do some floor stuff.